Canary from the flames, Canary from the flames, Canary. I'm John Williams, Watford defender. Andy Rankin, Watford keeper. Duncan Welburn, Watford defender. I'm Colin Franks, Watford defender. David Cross, Norwich City striker. I'm Dave Stringer, Norwich City Football Club. Right, Dave Stringer, a very famous game at Watford and a very famous goal. Can you tell us what you remember about that? Um, yes, I can remember it very well because of the reason of uh, it being so important. You know, one of the I didn't score that many goals, and when they did score them, it seems they scored you know quite important ones. Um, this one in particular was uh, for the championship of the second division, and uh, we needed to actually uh, win that game or draw it to get the championship. We'd already been promoted uh, midweek against uh, Leighton Orient at Orient, and uh, the job was done in that respect. So there was a case for us perhaps relaxing but we really wanted to put the icing on the cake with uh, the win to get the championship and strangely enough I mean it was a terrible day the pitch was really waterlogged very muddy not like today's pitches where you've got nice green verdant pitches where now it, it was muddy after a season and there was no grass at all and it was just mud through the middle and we found it very hard you know playing football on the pitch it was very much of a slog but fortunately we got uh, early pressure and uh, we had three particular chances from my point of view and they all came from the same position. Kenny Fogg, who was playing on the right wing, I think he put uh, all three crosses in uh, from free kicks or corners. The first one I headed straight over the bar, which was, you know, uh, to my disappointment because I thought it was a great chance. The next one I did manage to learn and get it on target, but it hit somebody's knees on the line and it flew out. And the third one was the goal that I scored. You mentioned the conditions. I believe you remember uh, what the fans were doing perhaps at half time, having stood in the rain for 45 minutes. Yeah, it was a terrible day for them. They'd come and to watch us in their hordes and they were stood in the, the uh, open end of the ground and there was a covered end at the far end. I wasn't told this till after the game because my brother went to the game and uh, people, like the family members, were there. And apparently the Norwich fans, they were fed up with getting soaking wet at one end, so they decided to get to the end where the cover was, and they ran down the middle of the pitch, uh, which you know probably wasn't the done thing and uh, would be frowned upon today. From your own point of view, you're a player of the season. That, would that rank as, as the best, or certainly one of the best seasons of your career? Yeah, because of what happened and because of you know my um, need, if you like, to play in a higher division. I was, you know, quietly ambitious, you know, I didn't probably show it as much as uh, most people, but I was determined enough to want to play at top level, and I'd been at Norwich for eight seasons, I think it was my eighth season at Norwich, and I was getting a little bit, uh, you know, anxious to think that, you know, I'd want to taste that sort of thing, and whether to see whether I was good enough to play in that uh, division. And luckily enough, I did get uh, in by, you know, coming up with Norwich, which was fitting. I think, you know, after being the, at the club for that period of time to come up with them, I think it tasted all the sweeter. <laughs>